In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the mesh tool, and the mesh tool is right here. So I'm going to start by drawing a circle on the artboard. I'm holding down the Alt and Shift keys to have the circle grow from the center. So I happen to have this yellow color, and that's fine. And then I want to go to the Mesh tool, and then just click anywhere inside the circle. And what happens is, you know, an additional vector point is created within the cir circle wherever I clicked. And I can continue adding. And as you can see, um, vector points are added within a grid form within the circle or within whatever element you are using. So how is this useful? Um, what I can do is just select one of these vector points. So let's say this inner one, this one on the top left, and then apply a different color, let's say a darker yellow. So if I add some magenta, I'll end up having a darker yellow. And it looks like a nice blur. Um, I can select another vector point and maybe this time add some uh, cyan to make it greenish, a greenish yellow. And then another vector point. This time add black. It will become a dirty gold yellow and so forth. Now this is useful when we're working on perhaps um, a face, the cheeks of a face when we wish to apply some, uh, you know, a darker color on the cheek or uh, maybe a rose petal that's, um, you know, where the color is has a gradient of dark pink to brighter light white pink and so forth. Now I've clicked outside um, and that's why the object is deselected and we can't see the additional vector points that were added by the shear tool. If I just click once I will see all of them again. Now if I wish to delete one of these vector points I just click on it and delete. You will think the whole thing is gone but it's actually not. Let me go to command uh, Y basically to the outline mode and you'll see that uh, my other vector points are still there. But the entire vertical line holding that vector point is now gone. So let me show you here, for example, if I select this vector point and delete it, um, the vertical and the horizontal lines holding that vector point are gone. Same thing here and so forth. Now, obviously, I deleted the vector points that contained those additional colors. That's why I'm, I'm left with no color. Let me go ahead and click on this one and add a tint of orange from here. So I'll go ahead and add some magenta so that that vector point starts looking um, or having the orange color applied to it. Okay. Now, the thing to realize here is that since I don't have too many of those vector points, um, the orange color covered most of the circles. So now if I click outside, you'll see that the orange color starts right here, but it covers most of the circle. If I have more vector points, let me go ahead and go back to the shear tool, uh, I mean the mesh tool, which is right here, and then just click. You see that the orange that was almost covering the entire circle is now concentrated in this small section and if I keep continuing adding vector points you're going to see that the orange is only being focused in this section and not on the entire circle so this means that the more I have vector points the less the color applied to the vector point will occupy the surface of the element. Uh, another thing to pay attention to is what if I you know, want to change the direction of this blurred color. So in this case, you know, you can hover over the uh, vector point and click on it. And again, you'll see these nice tangent handles that we can manipulate. So one thing I can do is just hold the vector point and perhaps drag it into the circle. That's one thing I can do. So I just moved the blurry orange color from the edge of the circle to the center almost and then I can take these vector points and you know come up with the effects that I want obviously you know I'm starting to have um, a solid color here at the edge it's not blurry anymore so depending on what the exercise is you know you can adjust use the tangent handles move the vector point 
And remember, the more you add uh, vector points using this mesh tool, um, the less the color is going to be uh, concentrated. It's going to stay concentrated in one area. So, like right now, the same orange was added in this other vector point, and I just can change it just by adding perhaps some cyan, and I can do that because that particular vector point is selected.